Elevation is about 763 meters and it is a platypus country. And this is Delegate. That says 760 meters, that's it 763 meters. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's 761.5. And yeah, this is the snowy mountain area. And these are all the places that are part of this snowyguide.com. And that's where the Tiger Man 100 is. Hey everyone, Jack, what's happening? Rain happening. Yesterday I got here, um, some of the people at the pub asked me, hey, did I make it okay? Was there any rain on my way? But I avoided most of the rain that was here before me, right? And uh, on the road, the potholes, you can see there was water filled in them. So yeah, it rained before I got there. I just looked at the forecast for next two days. It's rain, full of rain, you know. And there's one day which is like, it's like an orange, which is like a danger rain, you know. So yeah, I'll see what I can do. Now my plan for today was to go to Charlotte's Pass, which is one of the highest passes. I think it's the highest pass in all of Australia. Then through Threadbow, I want to go to this place called Tumut and uh, then after tomorrow I want to do the Snowy Mountain Highway down from Tumut to Kuma to uh, Threadbow again and then end up somewhere around Eskdale in Victoria. We've got heavy, 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 heavy rain. But that's the thought process for today. I don't know how much I'm going to get out of today's day. Even today, tomorrow, and even day after tomorrow is bad as well. I have to take really slow. And I'm having my coffee this morning. Um, I just had a couple of these to my coffee. Also, I'm having the world's most sold biscuit. It's like the best selling biscuits. Have a guess. Guess it. Uh, so this is the world's most selling biscuit. It's uh, called Parley G. Uh, they're from India, and um, everybody in India eats it. Like you know, mm. they're still as good. From here on, I think another five kilometers is straight road, and then the best road start. I've done it. Uh, um, I'm not done the whole Charlotte Pass, Threadbow. Um, Tumut and then down, but I've done up to Jindabyne, then turn right to Kuma and then go down towards uh, the ocean. That road is amazing as well. You know? And I remember last time when I was here, there was a case of black ice on the road, so I have to be really careful. Um, so, yeah, let's see today how much I can get out of it. coming from Bombala I got lost so I was supposed to take right somewhere but I didn't take that right the navigator that I have doesn't connect to my headpiece so I didn't see where I was going either I was like oh yeah cool I'm enjoying it I'm gonna keep on going then I realized that I was supposed to turn right somewhere I saw the navigator I'm like oh the navigator wants me to go back I don't know why so I then turned around and I put it on the Google Maps for Charlotte Pass 
and then he was telling me, yeah, go back. So I did that, I went back, and then he told me to turn right up to this Springfield Road, which was really, really uh, potholy. So, potholy, is that a word? Um, so it had a lot of potholes, right? And then uh, it turned out to be gravel. Uh, at the start of the road, the road was heavy gravel as well. So I felt like uh, the bike was like slipping around, but I managed to get out of it. And then I saw some of the beautiful roads. I also saw this sign that said, hey, go this way to go towards Jindabyne. Go that way to go towards Jindabyne. I was like, fuck, like why are there two roads going to Jindabyne? I don't know. Anyway, so I ended up uh, coming to Jindabyne. So behind me there, that way, back to Jindabyne. And uh, there is a lake over there as well. Yeah. Now I'm on the road to Thailand Pass. There's a fee to go into the national park. It's only seven dollars for 24 hours for motorcycles, but still. Uh, yeah, only for like a couple of hours. Yeah.
Charlotte Pass. This is the end of Charlotte Pass. I'm going to go back down again, get out of the Kosciuszko National Park where I paid seven dollars to come in, and then I'm going to go towards the. Uh, I think it's a uh, Tuma. No, but anyway, so let me get out of here. I'm not going to do much recording uh, from here going down. Made it down uh, from Charlotte Pass, and the whole way I kept smiling. The grin on my face was not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Um, I wish uh, it was a little bit uh, drier on the road, but um, that's what we got. What can we do? Um, yeah, the, other than that, uh, actually, it's about 20 degrees right now, and it's not very cold. I was actually expecting it. Right now, because uh, it is warm, you know. Uh, it's almost uh, 2.30 right now, so it's time to decide uh, what I'm doing for the night, you know, and we are at the cafe Trader Joe's garage. They've got the best burgers, that's what they say. I spoke to the lady at the Coles Express and she also said, yeah, their chicken burgers are really good. So that's a burger. It's a Cajun burger and I uh, asked for sriracha sauce on it. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good so far. Let's have a taste. Mm. Good burger. Good burger. Uh, yeah. It is spicy. Nice. Mm. Very good. I'm gonna finish this burger and I'm gonna get on the road. Alrighty, food done. Uh, so let's keep on going, right? Now it says that I will be at my location at seven o'clock, right? So there's a lot of riding to come. So it's a total of about uh, 250 kilometers and it takes about uh, almost four hours. Does that because when I was going to Charlotte Pass, I bought a bought a pass. You got a pass over there. You're all good to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. So you only got it today. Huh? You got the other uh, pass over on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just
Ой, вон ты. Cold Can Coben. So another two hours and 20 minutes to go from here. Right? Now. The problem is everything is wet right now. I need to dry these things up really quickly. I need to I need the accommodation soon. And while I was riding down here, I was thinking something. Okay. I can't talk about it because the battery is very low on this rep. Gonna die out soon. What happened? Um, so after I made the stop at the Cancoban, I decided to kind of stay in this town. As soon as I left the thread boat, I just got rained on, like anything. Right. At first, maybe seven, eight kilometers where there was fog, it was fine, you know, but the, once I finished that fog, uh, it was <laughs> all the way through. Let me lock the room. Yeah, this is my room here. Uh, bed, cupboard, got TV, and there's a toilet and bathroom there. So, uh, cool. Sorry. Yeah, so as soon as I left the um, place, uh, Threadbow, I just got rained on uh, and uh, <laughs> there's this one point, uh, I saw these three kangaroos that were like standing right next to the road and I was like, uh, am I recording this? I was not recording, damn it. But they were like standing right next to the road and they were so still, I thought at first that they were just uh, uh, like standing, <laughs> they were like uh, um, not real, but no, they were actually real. Uh, but yeah, this is... Uh, the lakeside caravan park but I'm not camping today because uh, in the night there is actually heavy rain coming cabin is about $85 and uh, camping was about just uh, $35 but tomorrow it's about uh, seven hours of ride as well so not gonna be stopping much a lot so not gonna be like uh, uh, wasting time around a lot so idea would be to go out as soon as possible and wake up early morning and leave. My idea is to stay in Mitta Mitta tomorrow but from here to Mitta Mitta it's only like maybe two hours, three hours, not long. But uh, I'm gonna go from here to Tumut that I was supposed to do. Then from Tumut I'm gonna go over to up to Kiandra. So original plan was to go up to Kuma and then come back uh, the way I came back today and stay in Eskdel. But uh, it's gonna be really, really busy day if I did that. And tomorrow there's more rain coming. What is here? There's a lake here at the back. Lake. Maybe that's why it's called Lakeside Caravan Park. So you guys, if you like this uh, video, Go like the video, subscribe to the channel as well, you know. I also noticed uh, that uh, I have forgotten my hard drive at home and I do not pass any major towns or JB Hi-Fi or Harvey Norman on my way all the way to home. So I'll have to be very careful of what I record and uh, how much I record, what I keep and what I not. Uh. A few moments later. Ah. Ah. Ah.